Alright, welcome to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. This is Finder X. I'm not doing a walkthrough as I usually do, just because I'm relatively new to this game. I've played it through maybe uh, three or four lives. Um, and so I'm pretty much just trying to form impressions and figure out what the heck's going on, for the most part. Um, and figured might as well do a Let's Play of it. So it won't be a proper walkthrough. I'll just play until I die, and we'll see how things go. Um, normally I would explain about the game a bit, but I will not for entertainment purposes. We'll figure out things as we go along. Uh, the controls are already here, I know them. You can attack in different directions, and you have a bomb and an item. And there's a map in the upper left hand corner and there's a weapon, and great. Okay, that's enough. We know enough to get by. Well, that was a sad room. So let's go in here. Each level is randomly generated, so each time it's sort of different. I don't know what the heck this is. The bean. What does the bean do? Okay, so it produces a toxic cloud. Um, for items like that, which it can be used over and over again, you see it's blacked out takes a couple of, um, I don't know if it's you have to enter distinct rooms or if it's a certain amount of time, but it recharges. So, headless torsos, that's cool, I guess. Actually, so far it hasn't been terribly challenging, nothing in the way of a okay. Well, this is sort of threatening in that I have to run around and shoot. So, uh, that seems to be a common tactic in this game, is just running around the edge of the screen shooting. Uh, nothing in there. This is the boss room. We're not going to go in the boss room yet. I'm going to go through this damaging door. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay, well that was helpful. Those stupid doors hurt you half a heart each time, and you only have one life to go through five or six levels, so you gotta make a count. Um, I should mention each floor has one of those crown things, which is some sort of item or ability uh, store, which is that little penny in the top. There's a key to it, I don't have a key. and the boss room. I don't know about this weird sacrifice door room, but anyway, let's go to the boss. Okay. So this is actually not a bad boss. I fought him before. You just sort of run around and shoot him. So this is a tried and true tactic of running around the walls and shooting tears. Ah. Anyway, I'm sure you're all at least a little bit familiar with the subject matter of the game. And the aesthetic itself is like Super Meat Boy. So I don't know if it's done by the same people or the same art direction. Whoops, I got hit. Oh boy. Actually this part isn't too bad. He just sort of flutters around until he dies. Um, and as much as this is just sort of a roguelike, an action roguelike shooter thing. Um, and you don't necessarily need to know the story. The story is you are Isaac, a naked crying child who shoots tears. And he has gone into the basement of his house trying to get away from his mother who's trying to murder him as a sacrifice uh, to some sort of deity. Um, it's supposed to hearken to the biblical tale of the Binding of Isaac. Um, as you can probably guess from the title, if you're familiar with your uh, various religious tales. Anyway, ah, jeez. Actually, I'm not sure if this thing has any other attack. It used to shoot blood at me, and now it's just sort of floundering about. Uh, just a floating half-deformed twin thing. Actually, that's not really the most disturbing thing I've seen as yet in this game. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's dinner. Now let's go to the next level. 
And each time we go to a different level, we see one of the traumas of Isaac's life. As he shudders on the floor crying. So, let's continue. Oh, God. Uh, once again. Whoa, there was a rock there. I thought it was part of the background. Haha. -ha. Showed him. Okay, so those gray colored hearts are like temporary health. You can't really refill it. So, there's that, I guess. Oh, this looks interesting. Yeah, that was okay. Um, the gold chest can be opened with a key. Same with the gold door and the other door with the key on it. I don't know what icon that is on the map. Looks like stone slabs. But I can use a bomb to get to this one. I used my bomb. Oh yeah, pennies. Ah, that's actually not that helpful. I still can't get that. Ah, oh, spiders, spiders. I do not like spiders, they jump around too much. In every game, they are very hard to hit. That and bats, although I don't think I've seen any bats in this game. So that's probably good. Oh yes, a key! Oh yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and get our ability. I'm gonna put out these fires. Polyphemus, oh god. So the arrows are bigger. I don't know why they call them arrows, they're very clearly tears, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing that turns them into arrows in this game. Um, oh, and to reiterate, uh, uh, all the dungeons are random. Oh, I can sort of spin my head around. Like that. Uh, he pauses to shoot. Um, the items themselves are random, the locations for them are random. The rooms that appear on each level are random. So very much harkens to the idea of the roguelike. Um, although you can run around and shoot things in actual real time, which I like. Shooting things is what I'm into. So... Ah, things. And I can't get at the treasure chest or the bomb, because I don't have any bombs. A lot of locked doors. And actually, no, I want this heart. You gotta keep scrounging for hearts pretty much owing to the fact that you have one life. Except for under certain conditions, which we might get into. It depends on if it becomes relevant. I do like the giant tears because they kill the spiders in one hit. Pill. I don't know, know what the pill does. Should I use the pill? Oh, and also, you can't memorize what the pills do based on their color and other physical characteristics because it changes every time. Sort of like potions in uh, NetHack, if you're familiar, or other roguelikes. So we're gonna just take it. <laughs> yeah. So, the pill didn't actually do anything. Whoa, what? Oh, whoa, shit. What is that? Whoa, okay. You'll notice that Isaac doesn't fire tears straight when he moves around. Oh, cripes. Yeah, take that. Deal with it. Um, but it has some sort of momentum. So if you stay far away from him... Stupid Krampus. Ow. Range is not terribly good on this. <sighs> Gotta avoid corners. This thing is really tenacious. Ah, damn it, I ran right into that one. Okay, well, I clearly died. Ah, uh, but the video isn't even 10 minutes long, so we're gonna play it again. And you'll see for yourself that everything's random. Because why take my word for it? Whoa, okay. Wait a minute. Well, that was depressingly easy. Alright. I've actually gotten this one before. But it takes a while to recharge, and it's better against... Boss care. Actually, no, wait. The last time I used this, I died, so... 
I've sort of used it before, I guess. Oh god, the spiders. And then there's these things that run away from you. Damn, I was hoping that would blow them up. Actually, yeah, these guys are more annoying than anything. Ooh. Yeah. So many bombs. I would be remiss if I didn't look at all the treasure. Whoa! Interesting. Ouija board. Oh god. Well, my tears are different. Let's take a look. And the range isn't much improved. Rate of fire isn't much improved. I'm sure they're good. What? 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 Okay, well... I do not know what that was about. But in any case, let's continue. Third life. I'll just keep going until I get bored, I suppose. Uh, after a while, I'll you. There's only so many deaths one can take. Duh, I want that. Okay. Haha. <laughs> at least they give you one bomb at the beginning, so you can get a key. Some playthroughs, you don't get any keys. What's this? Ooh! I have a pet ghost baby, and it shoots ghost bubbles. Do the ghost bubbles go through stones? I don't know. It looked like it could go through only one stone. That's nothing to shake a stick at, though, I guess. Well, that's just great. And we're gonna go to the sacrifice room because I'm a glutton for punishment. Oh, actually that was helpful. So that was a net gain of a heart. So that's a win. Uh, torsos. Well, I guess they have legs. I don't know what you call just a body with no head. A headless body. Uh, there's a shop to the right, don't have enough money for anything useful. Spider's Nest. That's right, we work as a team. Me and the ghost baby. And we get a precious penny. Oh, boss already? Alright. Well, this will be helpful now that I've got the ghost baby. Because this guy just belches flies. And possibly spy it? No, just flies. Stupid stones. And actually, the flies aren't terribly persistent. They're probably the closest thing to a bat in this game. Bats traditionally being assholes in games. But these are usually not that bad. Because they sort of keep to themselves. Like those ones aren't even... The ones that don't glow red, they're just like sort of there. What the hell's this? What? Oh man, I shoot way more tears. Oh wait, some of that's from the ghost baby. Uh, I've got creepy proboscis eyes. And here's another trauma. Alright, so let's keep going with my horrific nightmare inducing eyes. Oh god, I should probably pay attention to where these things are. Although I at least have some temporary health. And in a game like this where you don't really get health terribly often, ow, uh, temp health is a lot more useful than you would think. So, that's good. I can get these things to die. Stupid stone hiding. There we go. Maybe there's some sort of item in this room? That would be swell. Nope, just playing. These things shit little orbs at you. God, I hate them. Because they're small and sometimes they hover over stones and you can't hit them. Like that. That isn't annoying at all. Also, the ones that look like scrotums shoot two balls. Oh. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh. Okay. Uh, there we go. And we're at full health. And I have a key. 
Well, this is basement too. I want to save that for. I want to save the key for the uh, item room. Now we have to go through some trials. Jumping corpses, damn it. Okay. So, they're down. What else? Oh, God. Actually, these aren't the bad ones. These only take like three hits. And they don't move. Oh, God. These things I don't like as, as well. They take four hits and they shoot in all four directions. And then there's multiple ones and they move at diagonals. It gets kind of more complicated. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Super! Uh, we'll skip that chest. If we're lucky, maybe we'll find another key. Won't have to deal with this key drought thing that we're going on. A key embargo, I guess. Affected by whoever created these basements. Okay, the great. Ooh, bombs. Oh, and sometimes they're filled with one of those shooting flies. That is less than ideal. Alright. Before we use the key... And that fire. Sometimes the fires shoot stuff at you. I don't think they have items in them, though. I've never run into any with an item. The Hierophant. So there's 21 tarot cards or I think 22, however many are in a standard tarot deck. I have no idea what all the cards do. Um, I've seen everything. Does that like reveal the map? Like the entire map when you go to a new screen? This one was pretty much revealed all the way, but the secret room isn't revealed. Well, whatever, we're going to the boss. Alright, it's this guy again. We're familiar with this tactic, of course. I won't be using the tarot card until I get in a real fix, because it might be something helpful when I'm dying. And the powers of the- oh god, he's moving a lot more, more now than he did before. Um, but the tarot cards have fixed effects to each game playthrough as opposed to the pills. So if you draw 22, you'll know what all 22 do if you're good at memorizing tarot cards, which I am not. That and I've only encountered maybe three of them. Now four. Oh God, why? Why? Okay, there. Um, range and tears, oh God. He's just becoming more and more horrific by the minute. Also, what's this? Okay. This better not kill me. Brimstone. Oh god, I lost all my health? God dang it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the guppy's head. A space to use. Well, let's go ahead and see what happens in the next room. I don't know what this weird demon power is gonna do, but... I seem to have soiled myself. I can charge? Whoa! Whoa! That was cool. I can vomit blood. And let's find out what the cat's head does. Foaming flies? Oh, that's helpful. Damn it. You know, I'd, it'd be a lot more helpful if... If I could shoot at a faster rate for these stupid flies. Whoops. What? Huh? <sighs> well, I didn't take a look at my life. Maybe it was really low. I only had the one heart after taking the um, demon thing. Oh god, green meat. Oh no, why? Whoa, it did one damage. I suppose to a half damage. I could very well be in a world of hurt. Okay, bomb. Might as well blow something up. Well, I got another bomb. I guess I broke even. I'm not going to use that. If you step on that spike and lose a whole heart, it gives you an item, but 
I already lost one heart. Um, just from fighting that green meat thing. Damn it. Okay. Just shoot some tears in this general direction until I kill that thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Gonna make this hard for me. No. I have received a PhD. Better pills. Oh, those don't give you any items. I don't know why I keep doing that. I just sort of expect there to be items. I was told there would be items. I'm already the boss, so that's interesting. It seems like some of these levels are fairly short. Sometimes the first level is kind of long. But we have full health and this nice thing here. And these blue stones I've discovered have items in them. Oh my god. Ah, I fought this guy three times, and there's like a billion bosses. The first three or four times that I played, it was all different bosses every time. So maybe I overestimated how many bosses there were total. Or the odds are just in my favor. So we'll just shoot tears at him and run around in a box formation. Tears actually have decent range, considering that they're shooting out of your face and our tears. Come on. I wish I had my ghost baby. Ghost baby versus flesh baby. But no, it's just going to be a regular, sort of boring box fight. Uh, come on. There we go. Jesus juice. Range up. And tears up. So I can shoot more? Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, so let's try to make good... Oh god, spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? Ah. At least things can take a hit too. Which is not good. Okay. No. Yep, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And we will indulge in using a bomb to get the treasure chest. Wow. Aw, oh, yeah, we got a key. In some runs, you don't get many keys. And in others, you just get like a billion keys. Most important use of the key is to open these gold doors. Like I said before, they give you items, and items are good. So let's go ahead. Fire rate right up. Oh, my head got smaller. It's like he looks almost like almost like a normal person, but not really. He still would probably be some sort of hydrocephaly type individual in real life. But anyway, let's go through here. Fucking troll bombs. I had plenty of backup health, so that's fine. And it's like I'm a friggin' tier machine gun. And that's fine too. So let's go ahead and just wreak havoc on the spiders. I can't touch this. Oh yeah. And let's see if there's anything in the feces. Sometimes there's thing in the feces. Like items or health or oh god. I don't like these spiders. Other spiders, okay. Human face spiders, not as good. Look at that. He's just shooting that off like ah, damn it. I need to kill these things so I can leave the room. There we go. Pill. Let's use the pill. I don't know what luck is. Or what that's considered in the game. Maybe things drop more often? Ow, damn it. I should probably pay more attention to where I'm headed. Coin. Let's continue. 
interesting to shoot spiders out of them, so I automatically dislike them. And there's a store. Oh, wait, I don't have any keys, so let's just go this way. Peel. Oh god, this was a bad idea. This was a terrible idea, in point of fact. Ah. Modified box strategy, only half the screen. Oh shit, we're diversifying. But I lost a good chunk of health. Getting oh god, there's more of them. Why are there more? Some of them become headless bodies, some of them do not. And a troll bomb, what a perfect signature to that terrible letter. Okay, so let's... Oh wait, no, I don't have a key. Uh, so I guess we'll go to the boss room. And promptly die. Um, not familiar with that one. Let's use the pill! Bombs are key... Oh, I turned my bomb into a key. Oh, I should have done that before, and then I could have bought something from the store, potentially. Well, in the meantime, we'll just have to use our machine gun powers to their fullest effect. Oh god! Okay, well, I guess the padding's easy enough. Oh god, now there are flies. Why? Why? Yeah, every time it bounces off the wall, he just sort of... Damn it, flies. Well, I may very well be dead. Whoa, okay. He redoubled his speed there. I did not expect... Oh god, nope. Ah, okay, great. Well, I did pretty terribly there, so, but we have to call it good for now, I think. Almost a solid half hour. I don't know who would have the patience to watch a whole half hour of me dying repeatedly to binding a bicycle. But if it's entertaining enough, I guess I could make another video. If I managed to beat the game, I could do a video of that. But in the meantime, I guess there's this. So thanks for watching and all that, and stay tuned.